understand persistence plus failure equals success. Underneath are written the definitions and then synonyms that might go along in place of the words above. And I think as my speech progresses, you'll understand why you're looking at this. In the corner, I also have uh, a few items. One is the book that I've written, and the other is my nursing cap, which I treasure, but is becoming, is yellowing. So, how is everyone tonight? Good. Good. I'm glad everyone is here. So you see my see my cap. I wanted I wanted to become a nurse since I was very young. All through school, my goal remained the same. Never did I anticipate the obstacles that I would face to achieve my goal. The week, sorry, senior year in high school for me was very stressful. Rejection letters from five universities did little for my self-confidence. Still determined to go to nursing school. I found three diploma programs that I applied and I was accepted at all. The week I graduated from high school, I finally found out where I would be in September. Persistence plus failure equals my success. Three months later, in September, I, I was on my way to becoming an RN. Nursing school, I found though, and basic training are very similar. <laughs> Both are extremely demanding. They scrutinize and weed out the individuals they feel that could not handle the pressure or could not complete the program. It was not unusual to lose 50% of your class. Over the remaining two years, they molded us into a unified band of student nurses. Diploma nursing schools teach through classroom education and clinical hands-on instruction. Each course is unique and has its challenges. There are no gifts. Through this process, though, I had a sound understanding of the science of nursing and the compassion of nursing. I successfully passed my boards the first time, and three months later, in the days of letters, mine arrived with a congratulations and my first nursing license. So then, from there, life went on. Marriage, mortgages, children. Made life very busy, but very, very happy. Little did I know that my life would soon change and nothing would ever be the same. At 47, I was diagnosed with stage three breast cancer. Cancer had already invaded my lymph nodes. <clears throat> no one is ever prepared to hear those words. You have lost hope. Over the course of 11 months, I had multiple surgeries, and five months of chemotherapy, and 28 days, 28 doses of radiation. I had no income, I lost my job, and we lost our home. Cancer is overwhelming. But I survived, and my family remained intact. And I thought I got my job back. And we moved on, one day at a time. Over time, thinking about our experiences, I began to see and realize that once you're done with acute therapy, there is limited support, few services, and help to help you adjust to life as a cancer-free patient. For me, as a patient, 
and also as a nurse. This was unacceptable, but I'll change that. Persistence or failures equals success. Cancer changed me. It also changed Jay and both our children, who were 13 and 17 at the time. But what it did, the experiences we had, changed our mindset and how we viewed the world, and that we were grateful for everything, and found that materialistic things didn't matter as much. It was the, the important things in life have no, have no price tag. I've seen both sides of the bed rail now. It's not pretty. This gave me a very unique awareness of what was missing in healthcare's treatment of survivors. So Jay and I jumped in with a plan. We created Champions Over Cancer. It is a internet business that is directed at survivors, but I call them champions, because to survive holds you back in the past and defines me as, breast, as a breast cancer patient. I am a champion because I am moving forward to help cancer-free patients deal with all the issues that the medical system does not address. 40 different issues that I find that, that the system does not address. I have resources, and we have a website, and a YouTube, and a Facebook, and that's where you'll probably see this soon. Um, and it is a slow process. We are learning new things, how to speak in public, how to get time. And I appreciate everyone's support, and I thank you. <laughs>